Hello my soccer universe, it is time to take out another shirt uh, from this wonderful parcel that Andy sent me, Andy's for Andy's football shirts. Uh, before I go into it, uh, I forgot to mention, I think, in the unpacking of the Rangers uh, jersey, this one right here, see it's already hanging, uh, that I actually had asked him, do you think it's possible to find a Rangers shirt for uh, 30 pounds at most? And I think he found that one used but like new for 20 for 20, 25 in my size and for that i am super super grateful uh very very happy with this shirt now the other two i was about to order myself and was even thinking of um of having it them sent over to me uh from uh that particular store which is vintage football shirts which is a store i've never ordered so far from but they had one shirt that I knew about for about a year that I really wanted, wanted, wanted to have, but it's not the one that I had, that I had. we're gonna unpack now. And then I looked around because you know, when you order from England, I always say it needs to be at least two shirts to make all the postage worth it. And then, you know, customs, blah, blah, blah. In the end, you know, uh, with Andy, uh, Andy then stepped in and said, okay, um, this will save on postage if you send it to me. He anyway was about to send me some, some, some stuff. So we managed to, uh, combine things and I was very happy about that so yeah uh, the shirt that I'm gonna pack now is actually really very well to the target of what I set out to uh, expand my collection to this year and I always said I wanna have more German shirts I wanna have more French shirts and I wanna have more Dutch shirts German shirts I've been doing actually quite good I think I've added Leverkusen and Union Berlin yes World Cup shirts, but that's a different size. So, uh, Leverkusen Le Union Berlin so far, um, with another one still on the way, potentially. Uh, Dutch shirts, really hard. That's a real uh, challenge. And French shirts, yes, I added uh, Strasbourg so far. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit lacking, but I thought for my Dutch French background, I can make a whole background only French. Dutch, I cannot. Although I have six, no, I don't have six Ajax, I have four Ajax shirts five potentially with if I count the fake that I gave to my daughter so yeah I, I have a total of six Dutch shirts well this is a Dutch shirt from and it's not adding on to uh, you know doubling up it is actually a new team and it what makes it what makes me really happy is that not only is this a shirt that I really really like it's also from a team where I always said this is one of the most unique color schemes and there are a few uh, Dutch teams where it has to be said they are some Dutch teams have very unique color schemes that are only there I mean even if I look at Ajax I mean Ajax is the team with the thick center stripe I don't think that Feyenoord is the classic half half uh, team but you know there are certain uh, stylings in the Netherlands that are very unique for that league. And this might as well be the most unique team. I already have teased it enough. And I saw this one uh, before I showed I saw it um, on vintage football uh, shirts. I have to be sure to make winter football shirts and not vintage football area, which is the French store. And I said, yeah, despite it looking weird without sponsor, I gotta get this one because I don't like these seasons and they have a history of really nice shirts but then uh, the ones that I can always find they look all a little bit weird. Uh, I'm gonna take the shirt out now. It is a double XL because of the brand and this is only my third ever jersey from that brand and we're talking of course the brand is Jaco. The jersey is Heron Vane from the i think it was from the 1920 season that's the home shirt without sponsor i have to say without sponsor it does look a little bit weird i think the sponsor is transnutria uh, it would fit quite nicely in here but then um what really sold it to me is that the pattern in here is actually a lot uh tighter than it used than, than it's for instance on the current jersey which you can get from the heroin Wayne website uh as well and i al almost did it but i actually have to say I like this one better now it looks like it those are not hearts those are actually uh, sea lilies uh, but you know uh, it can double up as hearts 
I really, really like the design of the shirt, the blue and white stripes with the hearts in there, which of course is the flag from uh, the Friesland region. We have the Heron Vein crest. It is, this, uh, it is again a plastic uh, crest or silicone crest. I have to say this one looks a teeny bit, um, a teeny bit uh, slim, but you know, uh, very nicely done, I have to say. And on the back, I think there is the coat of arms from Heron Vein as well. And there is actually some sponsoring, Kron Leverwurst. I think this is some spreadable sausage, <laughs> which if I'm not completely mistaken, I might be. I might be. My Dutch is not that good, although Dutch and German. If you know German and English and you hear a Dutch person speak, you actually can understand more than you might think. And I actually like that at least one thing is in English. Come on, you boys in white and blue. So that makes it very, very nicely. Everything on this shirt is sublimated on, except for, 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 for the crest, which I, 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 actually the red part, which I call not the hearts, but that's the lilies, actually quite shiny. I don't know if you, if the camera pick, picks up, but, but, but when it, 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 it's, it's actually quite reflective and I really, really like that, I have to say. So yeah, I'm very happy with that one. Of course, yeah, uh, the big back here would be nice, but um, it serves two purposes for me. And not only is it an additional Eredivisie uh, team that I, I don't have and has a very unique color scheme. It also, all the Eredivisie teams that I have, they are uh, the main colors. And if I put all three colors out there, it's all red and white. So it was very, it's very nice to get at least a little bit of blue in. Uh, of course, the Yakko, this is all sublimated, made, made it on. I, I, I I think this is very in 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 interesting done and uh, there's a sponsor here on the sleeve as well so yeah let me know what you think about this jersey i, I have to say it is not the uh, how, 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 how to say i really like the way the crest is done the rest of course is all uh sublimated which is isn't better but also gives it maybe a teeny bit of a cheaper feel than it needs to be However, uh, I think it really looks over. It's a really nice jersey. I'm really happy to have it. And yes, sponsor would have been nice, but you, know, you take what you can, 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 can get. It's a beautiful jersey. And as I said, this is one of the two teams, this one and Willem Dway, uh, which is, has, it looks similar. Those are so unique. And then there are other teams like uh, Nijmegen uh, with the color color scheme. It's just something that I absolutely love about the Eredivisie that uh, it's, kind of colorful and unique and that makes it also very nice for collecting if the shirts around here wouldn't be so hard to get by yes you can buy from the netherlands uh but you know then shipping and blah 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 i never find them cheap so in any case let me know what you think about the shirt i did show you the coat of arms on the back nicely done so let me know what you think about this jersey uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel for see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.